the next project is going to be I need to get a beam up right there right where that two by four is right there I'm going to put a steel beam in basically I'm going to straddle this one and then hang it from the rafter over there but it ties in really tight I'm only going to be putting a few hundred pounds on it I'm sure it'll be okay and what I'm going to be using is this steel beam here something I picked up when I lived in Vermont took it down here to Tennessee with me and I just need to uh, cut the ends off and then possibly do a little modifying to get around the bracket for the garage door so let me get the saw out and uh, we'll get rolling This uh, setup is not that great. It, uh, this threaded rod here is kind of worn out, and the clamp won't hold it. Between the two threads, they're kind of worn and wants to jump. So sometimes she's okay, sometimes not so much. We pop the breaker. Fifteen amp breaker. Kaboom. And we're back. Keys. <laughs> Find something for these puppies. Okay. What I need to do is get it up on top of this rail, and then on top of that rail, we got to lift it up and then slide it over the two by four. Heavy. Ah. 
That's one heavy ass beam. Unless maybe I close the door and swing it over. Let's try that. Stay there. See if we can slide it up there. And there it is. Nice. Well, that's pretty stout. Alrighty. Let's. I want to put a few bolts in it. Give me one in the middle, one on each end. That might be all it requires. Alrighty. The bolt's really not holding anything other than the beam to the uh, to the wood. So I'm not going to need something too big. A quarter 20 would probably work. guys would work also. I think I'll have is really long ones. That's a good one. It's Allen, but it doesn't matter. Now we're going to need some nuts. These don't look right. These look bigger. Three eighths. Oop. It's the right one. And they're locking too, which is good. Three is all I need. Perfect. Okay, hole one, Let's see if she'll take a bolt.
Perfect size bolt. Stiffened it up nice. All right, the beam's up. Not bad. Pretty stout, too. All right. Now we need to get the uh, hoist out. Okay, this is the uh, hoist. See how dirty the box is. I bought this about 10 years ago. It's just been sitting on a shelf. So what we're going to do is these brackets are what holds it to the beam or whatever you're mounting it to. I think what I might do is weld these to the new beam and maybe put a bolt through the center just to hold it as an emergency. But I got to noodle on that a little bit. Alrighty, so all we need to do is measure that spacing. Looks like eight and three eighths. So what these do is they'll mount to here. Maybe a little play. How much in this direction now? Anyway. What's up, Lips? Hi. 
fuck is hot out? No kidding. Fuck. Cool, supper. Oh. Yeah, they were almost done by. Baby saved him. I think I lost her. Okay. We might ready to weld that on there. What do you think? Okay, we're going to try welding that on, at least one of the brackets. Yeah, my wire feeds a mess. It's too fast. Okay, technical difficulties. The uh, MIG welder, for some reason, the wire feed is just in wide open and it won't go down. So I got to tear that apart, fix that. So, what I'm going to try to do is get my big Miller 300 stick welder going. That should spark them up nice. And if that doesn't work, I got to bring over the um, TIG welder. But hopefully we don't have to go to that because that means moving a lot of things over there. So let's see what happens. The ground strap on. Carpenter bees. Two down. Well, my racket didn't like that one. Okay, let's crank that puppy up a little bit. Okay, she's up. Okay. I have an outlet right over there. I'll just run the cord through there at one point, at some point. All right, she's plugged in. Pull out the label. Yeah, it looks like they got some sticky stuff on it. Let's see if we can peel that off. All right, down.
Alrighty. Get a knife and cut that. Cut this without hurting the cable. There we go. Huh. That's pretty good. And she does have a stop bar on her. Huh. Just breaks it off. Kind of cool. Nice. And it also has a multiplier for it. This will turn it into a 800 pound load instead of a 400. You would put this up here. Okay, say so I put this up here. All right. And then this one goes on here. And that looks like you hang the cable on here. Cotter pin. Bolt. Nut. Little baby. Now they go get a wrench that fits that. And Beautiful. Now she go twice as slow. So this gives it a two to one. All right, still works. <laughs> 